understanding the first topic in further detail that is product planning. The four basic levels are the first being product innovation, second being product diversification, third being product standardization and fourth being product elimination. So let's understand each one of it in further detail. Well, the first stage that is product innovation. So what really it is? An innovation is the adoption of a new idea, product or a process which is prospectively useful. It induces demand and seeks an opportunity to serve the present and potential market as profit. Innovation is not only needed today for the firms to succeed in the environment but also for its basic survival because the consumer demands are changing every day. You need to change and innovate yourself as per the changes in the technology, the consumer demands and so are the changes in the atmosphere. So the key reasons for product innovation are Firstly, to meet the market changes, that is whatever changes your competitors are adopting or any other demand supply changes in the market to accommodate that change. Second, to adopt the new technology. As we all understand, technology is ever changing. It's changing. It's the most constant thing which is changing on an everyday basis. If we do not stick on or adapt to the new technology, we will be thrown out of the market ASAP. Third one is to incorporate the changes in the fashion and the recent trends. Next, to meet the consumer needs because the consumer demands, preferences, tastes are also changing very rapidly. And finally, to take advantage of the existing reputation. Having said that, the second stage is product diversification. Well, diversification means two things, either expansion in terms of depth or in terms of width. Though we would be understanding these terms in detail in the third topic, just for a brief understanding, increasing the width means increasing the number of product lines, whereas increasing in the depth means increasing the number of products in one particular product line. Diversification brings growth and stability to the organization and adds to the profits of the organization. A very classic example here being Hindustan Liver Limited, who has expanded itself not only in terms of width that is adding the number of product lines but also increasing in terms of depth that is adding umpteen number of products in each product line. The third stage being the product standardization stage. This implies a limitation of the number of varieties or the types composing of a given class. Unlimited varieties leads to unnecessary confusion amongst the consumers and also wastage of resources. What really is standard? Well, standard is a quality, econo economy, convenience, performance and value assurance. It gives us a uniformity and in terms of production, in terms of consumption that we make sure all our customers for a particular product gets the same quality and quantity of the product. And finally, it is product elimination. Well, product elimination helps in saving the firm from squandering away costly raw materials, wiser alternate investment opportunities and taking complete advantage of the marketing opportunities. As already said, consumer demands are ever changing, even the technology and the market needs are continuously changing. Hence, product elimination is an inevitable part of every product which every product faces.